Hey everyone and welcome back to the show. It is however time to wrap up this month's show with the biggest news of the month. Starting off with a big bang quite literally is the latest Call of Duty game Black Ops 2. Let's run the trailer. Aside from the fact that I'm still alive, none of this surprises me. Technology gets stronger, but we got weaker. We built computers. Robots. Oh, unmanned armies. And no one ever asked. What happens when the enemy steals the keys? And the things they built to keep us safe are turned against us. And that's when they figured it out. They'll always need men like us. For those who are willing to do what others cannot. Very few details have been told as of yet, but what we do know is that it will be set in the near future 2025. Also, it will take more open storyline place to choose different paths during missions, which can ultimately change the way the story unravels. We will certainly hear more about this in the coming months. Moving on to something which I'm personally excited about, the long-anticipated Elder Scrolls Online has finally been announced. Being developed by ZeniMax Online Studios, it may take on a slightly different feel from what the past Elder Scrolls have been like. As Bethesda, the developers who created the first all the Elder Scrolls games, such as Oblivion and Skyrim, will not be leading this development. What this will mean for the development, who knows, but let's hope that the game will, be, will challenge the mammoth that is World of Warcraft in the animal space. Sticking with the world of Tamriel, fans don't be putting down your disc just yet. Skyrim Dawnguard has been announced to the already massive world of Skyrim. Nothing as of yet has been told what we, this add-on, but you can expect to hear more about it this year's year 3. Kratos is back. Yes, the God of War series is not done yet. God of War Ascension is set to be the prequel to the series, so expect to see how a god can go from calm to bloodthirsty in this fourth instalment. It has also been announced that the will feature multiplayer section for the game, whether this will be your usual death matches or more specialist game modes like the one seen in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is yet to be seen. Have you been wondering when Master Chief will rear his head again? Well, wonder no more, as Halo 4 will be released on worldwide on November 6th, which is also President's Day. Moving on after our run of Mass Effect earlier, the show will just remind you that the extended DLC has been announced, which will apparently add clarity to the ending of Mass Effect 3. Hopefully this will finally put the story of Mass Effect 3 to rest. Expect it in the summer. And finally, E3 is coming. On June 4th to the 7th, Los Angeles will be holding the biggest event for the gaming calendar again this year once more. Now, what can we expect to see from this year's show? I'm sure of the games you've just seen will be showcased there, but we're expecting new console announcements. Maybe Sony can turn around the success of the Vita. We would love to hear your thoughts on this, so respond to us on VGS Twitter, or jump over to our forums at vgs.co.uk. Well, that's all we have for this time this month, but expect some more big news when you count down to the first of E3 2012. See you next time.